hello everyone welcome back with the another video on react native mobile app development so in this video we are going to learn how you can implement a post api which take uh, form data so basically a uh, form data api what they, they do like in form data we are basically doing uh, uploading things like uploading any document or pictures so in this scenario we need to pass our data in form data so let's get started so now let's hit on the send button and see what we got so this is the response that we got from the api okay so is it is the it is returning the uh, information about the uh, shop that we just inserted so we get this data like shop created successfully and the data of the shop so we have to do two things like first we have to hit our api and second save our data in our async storage so basically we have to update our this uh, shop data which is right now is null so let's head over to the api section let's head over to the our mobile app section so let me run my project first so here our project is built successfully let's come to the my shop section so we need a button over here a submit button so let's just go here uh, to our last option and say round button import our round button so round i don't know what why my auto import is not working so we have to say import round uh, import round button component round button component from components and this so let's just come down and put our round button component in in here and uh, this component will take some props like label first is label so for label let's just say submit and save it so as you can see that uh, our round button is coming up let's just give it some styling so for style you can say yeah we have to give margin top so for margin top i will say 20 okay yeah so it will give you a uh, one more prop you need is on press okay and on the on press you have to call a function uh, let's say submit uh, or you can say like uh, create my shop okay so let's just create our function create my shop so you have to come so we have to create it let's create it over here so it will be async functions you have to say async function create my shop so in this function first we have to like first we have to check that if user uh, provided all the information that we need okay so what information we need name email and all this information and uh, one more thing that I have to check here is um, okay okay so let's just start from our first option name so if say if if not name 
if not uh, what is the field that we are taking okay so we haven't so we haven't provide anything for i think the shop name so let's come over here okay so let's come over here and uh, yeah so in this uh, form input tax there will be a uh, on uh, something uh, okay so there is no okay so you have to uh, say on change text let's come here and uh, let us see first let us see we are getting our text or not so to say text text now save it and let's see if we are getting our text or not yeah cool so we are getting it so let's just copy this create a new prop and pass it in our this like on change text save it and uh, in our all form input text we have to say on change text is equals to text and console dot log text now I'll do it uh, for all your input like this and this now save it okay let's just create a three props for name phone and email so for this you have to do uh, create after user two three so for name the say name and set name then email then set email and then phone and set phone okay and uh, let's come to down let's come down and uh, in our yeah in this name set to set name then set email and set phone okay so uh, in our form uh, in port we have one more prop like uh, says uh, keyboard type think uh, yeah so keyboard type so it will be uh, like number when we are providing a number and uh, so let me check number pad name phone pad and uh, okay so by default uh, the uh, keyboard type will be by default the keyboard type will be text but uh, if we give anything we will it will appear here so let's just give a keyboard type to our phone to say keyboard type equals to this number pad so when we come to our phone it will be show like this okay guys so let's uh, provide so in our function yeah this function we have to check that if not name if user don't put the name then we have to show a toast to we have to show a toast message so so the toast message app toast what to yeah the toast message so do we have the toast message let's import toast message so we have to say import toast message yeah and then use this toast message and say it uh, error 
and say it like uh, please provide uh, so it will be please provide shop name shop name and you have to return it so let's save it and let's check yeah so you have to validate uh, first you have to apply all your form validation so let me apply all my form valid validation first okay guys so here i provided all the validation that we need so let's move to the next next step so next step will be to create a form data so you have to say const form data form data is equals to new form form data like this okay so and after that what you have to do that for uh, the for the strings like uh, for the text like let me show you yeah so for the text we have to say we have to do something like this now we can put the text like you have to say form form data dot append and append you have to provide uh, the key like email and what is the value so value will be like email like this okay so after that api token so form data dot append api token and the api token will come from the user that we fetch so you have to say user dot what user then we will get the token user and let's just check if we getting the token or not yeah we are yeah so we have to parse this parse this thing like this user dot user then our what we are going to parse okay so let's provide all other information so you have to take care of two things first uh, the text thing will be passed like this way and the image thing this image if you uh, want to provide the image so you how you can parse it you have to say like uh, like how you can provide an image to your form data like this this then uh, name of your key which is shop image and you have to make uh, then you have to make a object after that and uh, you have to provide three things in your object first is uri uri and for uri you can you can simply do like shop image dot uh, image sorry shop image dot assets then take the assets so assets will be array so you have to you have to take the first object from the array then you have to say uri okay and same thing goes for other two things that we are going to provide so one is the type 
and second is the name so uh, you for type you have to say simple uh, this uh, type and but for name you have to say file name okay so this is how you can provide uh, the image and this is how you can provide the string so let me complete this and i will get back to you so uh, so guys we uh, you provided all the fields that we need so uh, let me just uh, so for so let me just tell you two important things that uh, uh, for text you have to say like email and uh, what is your key the key name and the value that you are getting and for image you have to do like this URI type and name and this will be your key your, the key which is API is giving you so that's it so after getting all the data from the user side so let's just hit our API so to hit the API let's come into our API section yeah in this let's provide the endpoint uh, you have to say it create underscore shop and let's provide this thing shop and save it now import this thing over here so let's head over to our sign in and here you can see we need two things import axios axios client and shop these two things okay and let's come to our uh, we have yeah okay let's just copy this thing from here the same thing that we integrated in our sign in okay so what is happening that uh, from Exios client we are hitting our API or post API which is the create shop and params will be this form data form data like this and uh, when you are dealing with the form data there is one more thing that you have to pass is the in headers headers you have two parts like to this content content type content type like this and you have to say it will be multi part multi part slash form dash data okay so in your header you have to uh, give one more thing like this and let's make a loader As for loader we need uh, loading set loading okay visible will be loading okay so when we hit our API we say set loading uh, before this set loading will be true 
and after this when our api is finished we will say set loading false and let's print uh, our data also let's say shop data okay so you can see what the data that we are getting okay success if it is success okay now what we have to store the message the message that we are getting from the api over here as you can see is toast message and we need to store the data in this async storage but for async storage we have to do something like we first let's uh, first of all let's import this uh, uh, this function so let's say import store data in async storage okay like this and nothing toast message toast message if any error comes okay so when we uh, when our api is hit successfully and we get the data let's make a so we have to save this data in our user so to make that what you have to do like uh, say uh, let update updated user data is equals to user user that we fetch above and uh, let's say updated user data dot dot uh, dot shop data dot shop data will be equal to the data we are getting from the api data dot data okay data dot data okay so this is the so when it uh, will be updated we have to update it in our user side also now let's just save it and so i think uh, we are all done with the api integration now this is time for us to test okay so this app loader will be by default it will be false okay now save it yeah so let let's provide all the information guys that we need it need so we are we don't need this address guys because we are already fetching the address uh, from uh, our uh, google maps so we don't need this let's save it okay just need three things okay so let us provide a shop image shop image shop owner image let's provide this image select category i will say so we don't add a category so let's add a category so let me add it first in my config app local data is text yeah so let's just add this category over here Number six is a cloth. Save it. Okay. Select cloth or select any location of our shop. Select any location. Okay. Now confirm. Okay. So the opening time will be like uh, if I'm opening. Let's provide any timing. So guys uh, let's check what happened if we submit our button so let me just come to our create shop screen my shop, my shop 
screen okay so now the code which will run is this form data and all this let's see guys what we got okay so okay so it is loading invalid user so it's giving me invalid user okay invalid user will come when oh yeah so email guys so email one more thing that we don't need over here is the email also okay so we can get rid of it we don't need this email because we already have email in our user okay okay so it will be like this user dot user dot email okay so because we already have an email so we don't have to take the email again as you can see like here okay okay so we have the email and so now we have the email we don't need this uh, yeah email section and we also don't need this in here check again so please provide shop oh we have to provide all the things again okay close shop the phone number will be okay provide the shop image shop owner image category timing and submit okay so as guys as you can see our shop is saved successfully and this is the data that we are getting okay and uh, let's see what do we get address uh, so this is the whole data that we get let's uh, it first JSON parser okay, we have a uh, data and which is defined so we are getting all the things from except the address okay so why we are not getting the address Just saying address and define. Okay, so it will be not shop location dot. Oh yeah, so it will be uh, in our shop location. Yeah, it will be dot address. Okay, so it will be dot address only. Now save it. Okay, now I have to delete the inserted yeah and as you can see that registration also completed section also showing okay so this is guys and uh, this is it and uh, yeah also here we have to provide the AP uh, our IP sorry our IP Let me provide my IP over here. We have to replace it because our server is running on other computer. That's why. So as you can see, guys, that uh, this is the shop image that we uploaded, and I uh, let me also show you that uh, uh, shopkeeper image that we uploaded. Okay, yeah. So as you can see, guys, that both of the things are saving uh, successfully and. Uh, so this is it guys i hope you can learn a lot of things so if you like this video then hit the like button subscribe to my channel support my channel and 
and uh, if you have any questions then let me ask in the comment box i'll be happy to give the answers see you guys in the next video till then take care bye